whenever a new product is created, I want something to happen. If you want something to be automatically performed by the system, when a record is created, there are two choices. One is workflow, other one is record. Using workflow, you can only make field update. Using workflow, you cannot make a web service call. Now you want some automated action. In how many ways I can perform the automated action? Go with the workflow rule or a trigger. Workflow rules are the automated actions which are performed whenever a record is created or record is modified. Triggers are the automated actions which are performed when a record is created, modified or deleted or undeleted. Now, which one I have to choose? <coughs> you have two choices. One is workflow, other is trigger. Which one you have to choose? Both of them are automated process only. Both of them are automated process only. Which one you have to choose? Which one you have to choose? The first choice. If I choose the workflow, using a workflow, you can only make a field update. You cannot run any FX class or web service program. So workflow is not a suitable option. Then what is the other option we have? Triggers. So we need to make a web service call from a trigger. Right boss? So let us see. I am trying to create a web service from a trigger. What is the option? Product info. Trigger. On which object? Product info. Okay. Should I take a before or after? I will take after because once the record is created at that moment what is the price that is there the price that is saved then I want to make a web service call right I am taking after instead I will tell you why I am taking after instead let me finish okay then I want to create a web service call I am trying to make a web service call for dot info every new record I will take and I have to convert it. So what I am doing, first I want to make a web service call. How do you make a web service call? Request. Request or set. I am making some web service call to the third party system. They have given this info and URL. So let me take let me give it in this way string you are equal to like question mark then you are equal to you are plus because they told the melody say get me that I am passing my value Right now, I am passing hardcoded value because we are not doing a web service program. It's only to demonstrate a trigger with web service. I'm just giving hardcoded value. Then they ask me, you want to convert in the form of what? Convert in the form of currency equal to INR and equal to. Then they have one more point that is format equal to one. Okay. Then I'm going to make the first dot set in point. You are. Set endpoint, I have given endpoint, then request dot set method, get method, then send the request, get the response, response, v dot send. Then we go to the response. First, let us finish off this. Now, when you are trying to make a web service call from a trigger, what is the problem that we have? 
what is the problem that we have? I am trying to make a web service call from that figure. What is the problem that we have? First, let me register this URL with the remote site setting. Why something should be registered with the remote site setting? Any external system with which you are trying to communicate, if you are trying to communicate with any external system, it is a must that it should be registered with the remote site setting. Only the systems, only the servers or the applications which are registered with the remote site setting, only they can be communicated from the sales force. Any third party system you want to communicate, that should be registered with the remote site setting. Right boss, I create a small web service, go to the product info, create a new product info, product name, sell, price, 40. Problem came. What is the problem came? They told system dot follow from the trigger is not currently supported. That means you are not actually allowed to write a web service call from a trigger. Why you are not allowed to write a web service call? Trigger is you already clicked on the save button. Record is about to save. Then you made a call to third party system. If third party system takes 20 seconds to give a response, then your trigger has to be halted for 20 seconds. The trigger has to be halted for 20 seconds. I told. Any long running operations that you are doing, trigger is to be automated operation performed with the system at the back end. You already clicked on the save, the system is running the logic in the trigger. But if the logic is taking more time, the entire trigger operation will be taking more time, it will give the performance issue. Then the reason, trigger says, I don't support any synchronous web service call. I will not support any synchronous web service call, which means you cannot call a web service from the trigger directly. I give a statement. Trigger will not support synchronous web service call. That means it will support asynchronous web service call. But how do you run this operation as asynchronous? Trigger will support, trigger is supported, in the trigger is going to support asynchronous web service call. So how to make this web service as asynchronous? If you want any operation to run asynchronous, we need to define a feature with it. We need to define a feature with it. So what I am doing? This web service, what will you give? This I am running like a How do you define? If you want to call a web service from a future method at the rate of future, call out equal to Within the future method, if you want to make a web service, you have to give at the rate of call out equal to two. Every future method should be static. Why? Now the question is, you are making a call, fine, using the whatever the records which you have inserted, using those records we need to manipulate. Whatever the records you have inserted, I need to calculate the values of it. But the problem is, I need to pass the list of new records which are inserted. If you pass those records to the future method, then it make a web service for the third party with that result, it is going to convert the data. But the problem is, but the problem is, you cannot give list of, you pass the list of new records, you pass the list of new records, then I can take one by one product, then find out the dollar rate, dollar value, convert the dollar into rupees. But the unfortunate thing is, you cannot pass, you cannot pass list of S object. As you cannot pass the list of object, then what is the solution? Unless you pass me the list of records, unless you pass me the list of records, I cannot modify. What is the purpose of this? Make a web service call, find out one rupee equal every dollars, then open the record, find out what is the price, price is 40 dollars, so 40 dollars into 64 rupees displayed. I need to update the records. The record which you inserted, get those records, Okay, get the 1 rupee equal to how many dollars, update the record with the Indian rupees. Update the record with Indian rupees. But the problem is, if you want to update, I need to pass the list of records. But future mother is not going to accept the list of records. Future mother is not going to accept the list of records. Then what is the other choice? Then we got an error message. What is the error message? Future doesn't support, doesn't support, phenomenon type as list of S of then what is the solution we have? What is the solution I have? 
the solution what i have is don't pass the list of s of get pass the list of ids don't pass the list of record pass list of only ids yesterday we discussed id is a primitive data type don't pass the list of record pass only list of ids how can you pass the list of ids give it the after insert map of id comma Map equal to. You can see list of set of ID. ID equal to. Take a dot old map dot. Take a dot new map dot. We have new map. We have new map. Yes, we have a new map. Why? Why is the new map? It is after insert. It is after insert because it is after insert. Records are already saved. If record is saved, we have an ID of the record. If record ID is there, we have record of new map. That is the reason I have taken after insert. That is the reason I have taken after insert. If you want to modify, listen to the requirement first. You created a record. You created a record. Trigger is firing. Trigger is calling feature method. Do you know when it is going to execute? Do you know when it is going to execute? Any asynchronous job is added to the queue. In the queue, when it is going to execute, I am not sure. It is asynchronous job. Job is added to the queue. It may run instantly. It may run after ten minutes. It may run after one hour. It may run after twenty-four hours. I am not sure. When it is running, it has to find out the records. What are inserted? Take those records, modify those records. If I take before insert, if I take before insert, what happens? Record will be inserted. Trigger will run after some time. But when trigger runs. Are you getting my point yet? People are able to follow. If it is a before insert, I don't have record ID. When you don't have record ID, which record I have to update? Because feature mother is not going to run right now. Feature mother may run right now or after ten minutes. Suppose your feature mother is running after ten minutes, how does it know which record it has to update? If you provide the record ID, I know these are the records which I have to update. If you don't provide me the record ID, how do I know which records I have to update? Then there is a problem. That is the reason I am taking after insert. When we take after insert, we get a record ID. So we are passing the ID of the records which we need to update. Then future by that you run what whatever the time you want. These are the list of records which you need to update. Are you clear about this? People have followed. Then we are passing. So I am passing here. So, tell me what are the drawbacks that we encountered here? First thing is, when you are trying to write a web service in the future method, when you are trying to write a web service in the future method, we have to give column the column to. Second thing is, we cannot pass a subject. We cannot pass a subject. So obviously, I have to pass IDs. If you want to pass IDs. We need to get the list of IDs of the record. When do we get? When do I get the list of IDs? Only after insert. That is the reason after insert trigger. We got the list of record IDs. Pass those list of record IDs. Then it make a web service call. Get the response. Now when you are making a web service call, find out what is the format of your response. Response is coming okay. Either JSON or XML. What type of response we are getting? If the web service call is running properly or not, let me check it out. This is only to understand the purpose of feature calls. I know that we are not covering the web services, but this to understand the purpose of feature. Then the value was coming as what? USD. Right. Okay. Now I need to parse the data. The data was coming. We need to parse the data. If you want to parse the data, we need to use some JSON.
So we got some price. Finally, what is the current price we got? We got it. Then what I am going to do? Write a sample query list of Again, I am mentioning the context here is not web service. The context here is can we call it call words on the figure out. Don't worry about what is the web service call it is. So once you got the data, I have to update it. How do you update it? Call. So P dot P dot price. P dot Into cost. The cost is one rupee equal okay, to one dollar equal to how many rupees? The price is in dollars. One dollar, one dollar into number of rupees. Then I am going to update it. P one dot total price equal to rupees. Then update. This was the story boss. So what was the question here? I have an intention of making a web service call from a trigger. I made a call, trigger throat error message. You cannot call a web service call from me. Then ask, is there any other alternative? Yes, you can call the feature method. You can call it feature method. So trigger is going to support asynchronous web service. So I have to write, call the web service from future method. As the trigger support asynchronous web service call, I am calling the web service from a future method. But the feature says I will not add, accept a list of S object. I will pass list of IDs only. But if you want to get the list of IDs, it cannot be a before trigger. It should be a after trigger. Why? Because the future may run at any instant. I don't know when it is going to run. That is the reason. We are making what? After. When you get after trigger, we are going to get a list of IDs. Those list of IDs, if you pass to the future method, future method is making a call to third party system, getting $1 equal to how many rupees. Based on the IDs, what you passed? Fetching those records, modifying the records, updating the records. Right. So what is the purpose of feature method terminal? What is the purpose of feature method? Feature method is used to call web services from the triggers. Okay. Generally everybody will give a requirement. If somebody asks you, tell me one scenario. Everybody will say it's a email exception. Everyone will say the same example. Tell me one example, it's a email exception. When Google verify the Google also, okay, 99.999 percent, everyone say which is the difference. Okay. So your solution should be invoking a web services from the trigger. From the trigger, invoking a web services from the trigger is the other way of, other use of feature method. Other use of feature method. Right. Now go back to the record now. Previously, one record has thrown an error message, right? There is an error message. This is the error message. Now save it. Now, Total price is not calculated. Why? Trigger completed. Future is running separately. Trigger record is already saved. Future is running separately. Because this is second asset. It is running separately. Now, when the future is completed, now we got it. You get my point. So, trigger is running separately. Future is running separately. So, trigger completed. Future is still not completed. 
after the feature is completed, we got a data. The total price is 25,864 rupees. $400 into 64 rupees. People are followed? Right? So, the question here is, once again, can we call a web service to be trigger? Trigger will not support synchronous web services. So, what is the solution that we have? Okay, calling the web service like SNKNS. How do you call a web service SNKNS? We define the web service program in the future. If you want to define a web service in the future, how do you define? Add the rate of future, call of the equal to 2. Add the rate of future, call of the equal to 2. Fine. Then, should I take a before trigger or after trigger? Preferably after trigger. So that no dependencies will be there. Then, if you want the records which are inserted, they need to be modified. Then I need the IDs of the record to be passed. Why IDs should be passed? As the future mother is not going to accept is not going to accept S object and pass the IDs of the records. Right cost. So what is the purpose of feature method? They are used to handle the long running operation. Name some of the long running operation. Bulk table operations. Web service calls. Calling the web service from the trigger. Calling the web service from the schedule effects. We are going to use feature. These are going to be the purpose of the feature. Can I call a feature method within a feature method? Can I call a feature method within a feature method? No. Can I call a feature method within a feature method? No. Right. Is the feature method is going to give you the job ID? No. Then how do you find the status of the job? Write a sample query on. Write a sample query on. Async apex job object. Write a sample query on. Async apex job object. Then we will be finding out the status. What is the other way of finding the status? Setup. Monitor. Jobs, FX jobs, we can find out the feature is called. The name of the feature is feature web call. Calculate method. Are you clear about this? I hope you have covered all the points of the feature now. Right? So, whatever the hard copy that I have given, just open the hard copy. Or copy from my side. Okay. So what I mentioned, future method. If a transaction has any long running operations or statements, and if this operation is not having any dependency on the rest of the transaction or the operation, we can run that operation independently from the rest of the transaction. Then we go for a feature. When we go for a feature, when you want to handle the long running, name some of the long running operation, web service calls, bulk table operation. Rules to define the feature method, all the feature methods should have at the rate of future. All the feature methods should be static. All the feature methods should have void as runtime. Only primitive parameters are allowed, accepted in the, in the feature method. Okay, why they are not accepted? Why S objects are not accepted? Because the future jobs are not going to run instantly. They are added to the queue. We don't know when they are going to be executed. There is a reason. State of the data is not maintained between the features. Okay. Then, if you want to invoke a web service, what we are going to do? At the rate of future, call out equal to. Any asynchronous job that is running in the sales force, that is registered with which object? Async apex job object. If you want to track the status of the feature method, what we do? Write a sample query on async apex job object, or we can go with the setup, monitor, jobs, Apex jobs. Right. Now, there is one more advantage of feature, but it is not a good practice. We can also improve governing limits. Using the feature, we can also improve the governing limits, but it will kill the performance of the application. It is not suggested, but we can also say this is one of the point generally that people don't Okay, the people generally the people don't use it or don't remember. But if there is a solution, this is one of the solutions for hitting the governing limits. I don't want to write a batch batch, but still I want to resolve the issue. Then I can go with this. Now already I wrote a constant in future method. Then it is hitting the coding limits. Now I cannot convert the future method operation to batch batch again. Now I am running an operation, I had a coding limits issue. Now I have a span of only 5 minutes to resolve it. Again, I cannot re-implement the entire feature method using a batch batch. It will take again hours together. 
then what I will do? A peak solution is there, that is uh, at the rate of future limits. We can increase the limits using future method. I'll tell you what is the purpose of it. Then I gave you some example, call me one, call me two, similar type of example I gave you. Then I told you, mixed demon exception, what is the setup object, what is the non-setup object, how to resolve the mixed demon exception. First I gave, without resolving it, second I gave, using a feature method, how to resolve the mixed demon exception. First one I gave, without resolving it, second I gave, how to resolve the issue with the feature method. Then what are the drawbacks of feature method? Future method will not run with a job ID. Future method cannot be called from other future method. Future method will not be supporting S object as parameter. Now, within a transaction, how many future methods we can call? 50 future methods. Within a transaction, how many future methods we can call? 50 future methods. What are the use cases? Where we use this feature method? What are the use cases where we use to handle the mixed demand exception? To invoke SNKNS web services from trigger to call SNKNS web services from trigger to invoke SNKNS web services from schedule effects to handle bulk table operation. What are the workaround cases? What are the workaround, workaround scenarios where the feature, feature fails? How to handle the feature? One of the workaround scenarios is how to pass list of S object as a parameter. In the future method, I want to pass list of S object. So what is the workaround process? Instead of passing the list of record, pass the list of IDs. The second workaround process is serialize the data. Instead of setting the list of S object, use the JSON or XML. Convert the list of records into JSON string. So the complete list of records is converted into string. Pass it. Convert the list of records into XML string. So use serialize the data in the form of JSON or XML. When you convert into JSON or XML, it will become a single string. String is again what? Primitive data. By serializing the data in the form of JSON or XML, we can resolve the issue. I hope all the points are covered. Clear for everyone? Right now? People are clear with this one? Example? Clear for everyone? Okay. Now, when there is a drawback with the feature, obviously the ordered concept will come. What is the ordered concept? Cubal FX. What is the ordered solution? Cubal FX. What is the alternate solution? Cubal FX. Right. So what is this Cubal FX? Future of any code is about the feature. People have got the theme of the story. Everyone is comfortable with that? Okay. Yeah. Any query? So let us go to the Cubal FX. Next concept. Cubal FX. Cubal FX is also one of the asynchronous operations. Cubal FX is also one of the asynchronous operations. But before we go with the cubal, we need to know some of the concept for interface. We need to know what is an interface, how to use these interfaces. For the cubal effects, we are going to use a concept called interface. We are going to use a concept called interface. Now, look at the point. Let's understand the theme of it. Then we'll come back to the technical terms. Let's have a general idea about what is interface, how to understand the story. Understand the story, then we will come back to the technical points. Let us see. There is a guide. Understand the theme, the general story. Now, Look at this. These are voice boss. This is boy friends. These are girl friends. Understand the theme. Okay. Now, if you are a boyfriend, there are some services you are using. It is a mandatory. Every boyfriend has to provide some mandatory services. What are the mandatory services, boss? What are the mandatory services? Okay, shopping, boyfriends will not have money also. So, shopping, movies, restaurants. These are the, some of the services everybody has to provide. If you have a brand called boyfriend, then you are supposed to have the following services. How you provide these services is your choice. 
Imei Gopal, Vivia, Imei Gopal Sama, Imei Arvind Mall, Imei Gopal Sama, XYZ. Where you go, how you provide is your choice. You may give credit card and ask them to go for a shopping, you may give cash and ask them to go for a shopping, or you may go along with them and you get the shopping. Now, how you provide is not important, but it is mandatory that you have to provide this service. So, what is this? Whenever he says that he is a boyfriend, he has to provide some of the services. Are you right? Now, let me say Sham or Ram. When Sham say I am a boyfriend for XYZ girl, then what is that? Sham is implementing three services. What are the three services? Shopping, movies, restaurant. If Ravi says I am a boyfriend, okay, I am a boyfriend for XYZ, then he is also providing what? Three services. So when you say, when you say you are a boyfriend, when you say you are a boyfriend, you have to provide three services. You have to provide. If I say, boss, I don't go for shopping, you will back to call boyfriend will be removed. Right. So, if you want to use the brand called boyfriend, eh, you have to provide the services. So, what are the mandatory services? Now, now this Sham is a Sham. What this Sham has done? Sham told boss, he is providing all the three services. He was supposed to provide, he was providing. But this Sham told boss, I will give my card. I will not be able to accompany take my card and go for a shop. Then Ram told, boss, I will come along with you, I will accompany you, we will go for a shop. Now what is it? Both of them are providing the service called shopping, but it is up to the people. You have to provide a service, but how do you provide is your choice. You have to provide the service, but how do you provide is your choice. Are you getting my point? Anyone who implements an interface called boyfriend, they have to define Shopping, movie, restaurant. Okay. Sham may define its own way. Ram may define its own way. But they have to define. Right. Are you getting a point? So if anybody say interface, if you want to use an interface, if you want to use an interface, the method to define in the interface has to be redefined by the class. Any class who want to use an interface, any class who want to use an interface, the method given in the interface has to be defined by you. Any class who want to use the interface, any class who want to use the interface, any class who want to use the interface, they have to define the methods which are given the interface. So interface says only the method names. It will not say how. It will only say what I am providing. It will not say how I am providing. It is up to your choice how you provide. It is up to your choice how you provide. But if you are using, you have to define that method. Are you getting my point? Interface will have what? List of methods. Unimplemented methods. There is no body in the method. They simply say these are the methods. These are the services. The people who are using this interface, they have to define these methods. It is a must. It is a must. It is a must. Are you clear about this? Sir? So interface is what? Collection of unimplemented methods. Did they say how to go for shopping? No. They told shopping is the Pusakis. How you provide? It's up to the up to the Sham or up to the Ram. Or clear up this point. Right. So what is interface? Interface is a collection of unimplemented methods. Interface is a collection of unimplemented methods. So who are going to define the methods? Class which is using this interface, they have to define the methods. Class who are using this interface, they have to define these methods. Are you clear? Now let us see. I am giving an interface. In this example, they told public void, public void, so are they defining the body of the mother? They are not defining the body of the mother. Name of the mother only they are defined. Name of the method only they are defined. So this is interface. It is a collection of unimplemented method. What is the difference? If you define how the method should run, it is implemented. If you don't define, if you don't define how the method should run, it is unimplemented. Only method name is given, signature of the method is given, but the body of the method is not given. It is called unimplemented method. Interface will contain what? Unimplemented method. So if a class public class demo 
If a class wants to use that interface, it has to use what? Implements. If a class wants to use interface, class implements interface. Class implements interface. If a class wants to use interface, class implements interface. Class implements interface. If a class is implementing interface, it has to define the methods. Public void so. Any class which is implementing an interface, it has to define all the methods in the interface. What all the methods that are there in the interface, they have to be implemented by the class. Do the people follow? Do the people follow? Interface is a collection of unimplemented methods. If a class wants to use the interface, class implements interface. If a class is implementing an interface, all the methods in the interface has to be redefined. All the methods in the interface has to be redefined. Am I clear? Am I clear? Am I clear? People are clear with this? Right. Now, understand. If you want to run any FX class, like a cubicle FX, if you want to run any FX class as a sentence class, if you want to run any FX class like a QFX, cubicle FX, if you want to run any FX class like a say, cubicle FX, then the class has to implement the cubicle interface. So the sales code has defined sales code has defined interface. What is the interface that is defined by the sales code? Cubicle. So the cubicle interface will have what? Methods. Which are not defined. There is an interface called cubicle interface which is defined by the sales code. What is there in this interface? There is a method called void exclude. There is an interface called cubicle interface. If an FX class wants to use this interface, what it has to do? It has to define x It has to define x Why an FX class wants to use this interface? Why an FX class wants to use this interface? If you want an FX class to run like a cubicle FX, if you want an FX class to run like a cubicle FX, cubicle FX means what? SNKNS operation. If you want an FX class to run like a cubicle FX, the class has to implement a cubicle interface. You want an FX class to run like a cubicle FX, then the FX class has to implement an interface called cubicle interface. If a class is implementing a cubicle interface, it has to define another call execute method. People are clear? People are clear? How to define a cubicle FX? Class implements cubicle interface. When a class becomes a cubicle FX class, when a class becomes cubicle FX, when a class implements a cubicle interface, when a class implements a cubicle interface, when a class implements a cubicle interface, the FX class becomes a cubicle FX class. If a class is implementing a cubicle interface, what is the method it has to define? What is the method it has to define? X cube. If I don't define one of error, it's a must. It's a must. If you implement a interface, if you implement a interface, the methods in the interface has to be defined. The methods in the interface has to be defined. Otherwise, it is an error. Right or not? So, fine. People have followed this point. Now, how to define FX class as a cubicle FX? Let us see the example that we see plus or minus. 5. Okay. Class. Implements class implements a cubicle interface. If a class is implementing cubicle interface, it has to define its cube. If a class implements cubicle interface, if a class implements a cubicle interface, it has to define, it 
than to be flat, except for that. If your class will be a cubic interface, it has to define another point x to the right. Now look at the format. Now, look at the format. What is the bug here? Cubic. Mistake. Class implements cube. Right. Now, whatever the operation you want to run like SNKNS, whatever the operation you want to run like SNKNS, define that operation within the class. Now, what I want to do, simply I want to delete all the records which are created in the last two weeks. Less than last. All the records which are created in the last two weeks, I want to do it. So the logic which you want to run like SNKMS, that should be defined within X cube. So if you want to run any FX class like a cubal FX, class implements cubal interface, that has to define another call X cube. Then how do you run this? This is only class. How do you run this? First, create an object for that class. Create an object. Want to create an object? ID. Job ID equal to system dot NQ. System dot NQ job. Object of the class which implemented a theory. Q example, first create the object for the class which implemented cubal interface. Create the object for the class which implemented cubal interface. Then how we are going to execute? System dot NQ job object. Then execute it. When you execute it, what are you getting here? ID of the job you are getting. Are we getting the ID of the job in the future? No. Cubal is giving ID of the job. One of the points. Execute. When you execute, Automatically what happens? Job is registered with the async fx job object. Then there is should fail. There is should fail because of last two week records. Again, let me run it again. So it is running as atomic. If any one of the record fails, the entire operation fails. Because it is atomic, so the operation fails. We get the operation fail. What is that? Relation fail. So it has some change records using a lookup relation. So it is not able to delete it. Some cases are there which are not closed. So what is the other solution I have? Database got delete. When I say database got delete, if any one of the records are deletable, let them delete. If they are not deletable, delete them. Right, folks. So I'm going back. Execute. When you click on execute, go back. There are some records, cubal. So tell me what is the mistake I have done here. So go back again, run it again. So what happened? Cubal. So once you register, once you are running, once you are running a cubal job, that is registered with what? Async FX Java object. That we can write a query again. But when you are running, when you are running, when you are running this operation, when you are running this operation, when you are running this operation, we are getting the job ID. Am I right? Whenever we execute what we are getting here? Job ID. The basic structure is clear. 
The basic structure is clear. We'll discuss the key points. Structure is clear. Class implements you will any class which implements you will that has to define execute. Logic is defined within the execute. How do you execute? Create an object for the class. System dot MQ job name okay. Object of the class which implemented Q. Process is clear. Process is clear. People are clear. Then create an example. Create a class. Create a class. Account. Create a class. Account deletion. Create a cubal effects class. Create a cubal effects class. Account deletion. Which will delete all the records. Which will delete all the records. Create a Create a FX class. Account deletion. Which will run which will run like a cubal effects. Create FX class. Account deletion. Account deletion. Which will fetch all the records which are created today and delete them. Create FX class. Which will fetch all the account records which are created today and delete them. You should define them like a cubal effects. Define them like a cubal effects. 